Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm trying to film my November manga haul. It's a little late, but that's okay. Um, let's see, I really don't have too much to say. It's a pretty big haul. I got over 50 mangas this month. Um, I'm going to play a clip, actually, because after my intro, because I actually sold three of the manga volumes that I bought in November because I absolutely I read the first volume absolutely did not enjoy that story so that's enough talking for me for the intro let's get right into my original intro and then I'll play that video and then the real manga haul for November will start Hello beautiful people, this is past Queen Domo, Queen D, my bad, can't forget my own name, <laughs> but anyway, if you guys are seeing this little clip of Can't Win With You, that means that I managed to sell this series before my November reading wrap up video drops and my November manga haul drops. So, quick overview of the series. I only read volume one. It was absolutely garbage. I was bamboozled by the title. I thought it was going to be something cute about a first year high school and a second year high school of falling in love and growing up and going to university together. And I was absolutely ban fucking boozled. It's rape, it's coercion, it's grooming. And this kid who I thought was in high school, he's only in middle school. And he's a bastard, he's a bastard, he's a bastard, he's a bastard. They are all in university. And I think it was this one and this one raped him in, within the first 30 pages to sell a mountain. And it was just, oh, it was garbage. I do not recommend. Bleh. I regret buying this. That means if you see this clip, I sold it just to get my money back. And to the person I sold it to, I'll put their information in either in the description box or across the screen. If they want me to, if she wants me to, they go by she, it pronouns. But anyway, I regret buying this series. I never ever want to read something like this again. Okay, so we are back. I'm pretty sure you guys saw that clip of me talking about I can't win with you. The three volumes that's supposed to be a yaoi, but it was just horrible. So yeah, I'm going to get right into the November manga haul of the books I got left over. Starting with Yokai Rental Shop Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, and finally Volume 4. This completes the series. It's a four volume series. And as you can see, I kind of messed up the top right here. I got a little crease, but that was for my own doing. And in this video, I'm not going to really be talking too much about the series. I'm just going to show you what I bought. I feel like I don't want to do no spoilers. I'll save those kind of spoilers for when I actually do my reading wrap-up videos. Next series I will be showing off is How Not to Summon a Demon Lord, Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 4, Volume 5, Volume 6 and Volume 7. I currently have Volumes 1 through 7. This series is ongoing. I believe it's about 12-ish volumes currently out. Could be wrong. I'll put the correct number on the screen somewhere. Next volume of manga I want to show is Red River Volume 2. I picked this up randomly. I have no interest in actually collecting this series. The series is very out of print and the volumes are very expensive to find. And it's just not worth it. And I tried reading the scans online and I just did not like it. So if anyone is interested in buying this manga volume off of me, feel free to contact me. And my Instagram at D underscore the underscore weeb. I will put it across the screen, show it, and link it down below in the description box. Next volume of manga I want to talk about is The Girl from the Other Side, volume 7. And volume 10, this series is complete. It has a total of 11 volumes. I currently have up to 10. I gotta get the last one, volume 11, to complete my series. This is by... Nagaba, which is, you can see the author's name on the bottom, the mangaka. I also have another story by them called Love on the Other Side. It's a collection of short stories. Next volume of manga I have is Dissolving Classroom by Junji Ito. 
Um, everyone knows who Junji Ito is. Dissolving Classroom is one of, another one of his great arcs. It's about the two on the cover. They are a brother and sister. The brother um, worships the devil. That's all I gotta say. The next series I want to talk about is the Kase-san series, starting with book one, which is Kase-san and Morning Glories. Book two, Kase-san and Bento. Book three, Kase-san in Shortcake. Book four, Kase-san and an Apron. Book five, Kase-san and Cherry Blossoms. And the last book to come out is Kase-san and Yamada which is book six of the Kase-san series. The next series I want to show is I Am Alice Body Swap in Wonderland. This is a three volume series. This is volume one. This is volume two. And this is volume three, which completes this short story, this short manga series by seven, published by Seven Seas Entertainment. The next series I want to talk about that I got is Satako and Nada Volume 1. This is, does take place in a college setting for, for all my older weaves. This is something you guys might enjoy. Next manga series I want to show is My Status as an Assassin Obviously Exceeds the Hero Volume 3. This is currently up to date. This is currently all the volumes that are out in English. The next series I want to talk about not talk about show is love me for who i am volume one and volume two the only thing i'm gonna say is that the character is non-binary the next series i want to talk about is the bride and the exorcist night volume one volume two volume three and finally volume four this is a four volume series by seven seas entertainment and this volume completes the series. The next series I'm going to show is Shaman King Singles. I am aware that these are out of print and very sought after. I currently got eight volumes of this. And depending on what I think about it, once I actually read them, will determine if I would just sell the singles and just stick to reading it online or if I even like it enough. Because I'm not even too sure. This series is just plain old expensive both singles if you could find them since they're out of print and the omnibuses which are also hard to find so this is volume one this is volume two this is volume three this is volume four this is volume five this is volume six this is volume seven and this is volume 13. Um, I might just sell this series. Who knows? I'll let you guys know in like a reading wrap up or something. Or even on my Instagram. Next book I want to show is actually a June Yaoi novel. And it's called Don't Worry Mama. I actually didn't mean to pick this up. I thought it was a manga, but who knows? I'll read it and see what I think. And if not, uh, I'll sell it. Something like that. Just to get my money back, you know? Next volume I want to show is Merman in my tub volume one. This is an eight volume series. I currently only have volume one. If I like it, I'll start hunting for the other seven volumes just to collect it. But if not, I'll sell this volume, trade it. I'll do something, you know. Next volume I want to show you is Dream and Sun volume eight. This is a 10 volume series. The only volume I am missing now is volume seven, which Apparently, it's a little hard to find. I think it might be going out of print or it is out of print. I am not entirely sure. If you guys do know, please let me know down below in the comments. Next volume I want to show you is My Hero Academia Vigilantes, volume 11. This makes me currently up to date to whatever has been released in the English volumes for this series, for this spinoff series of My Hero Academia. Next volume I want to show is Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, Volume 7. I currently have Volumes 1 through 8 of this series. I believe they have up to Volume 11 currently out for the English releases. Next manga series I want to show you is Tokyo Mew Mew, Volume 2. And Volume 3, they are a little beat up, but that's to be expected because these are the originals. These are the original Tokyo Mew Mew Tokyo Pop volumes and this completes my original set of volumes 1 through 7. This is a very old series. This series is from 2005. 
2004 from that era so yeah i was i i i was a baby i was only four or five years old when these came out next manga i want to show you is a bl manga your honest deceit volume one and volume two as you can see in this haul i will be, i do have a few bl um series because my bl collection was very lacking and i just wanted to add on to it besides that can't win with you that was just horrible that was not a bl that was trauma the next volume manga i got is the ancient magus bride supplement volume one next vo manga volume i got is a one shot called how many light years to babylon it look cute it look like aliens and monsters and stuff stuff i like Next volume manga I wanted to show is My Androgynous Boyfriend Volume 1. I saw this all over Manga Grand, Manga Tube, and I just wanted to know what the hype was all about. Looks cute. Next manga volume I got is a one shot called Melted Love. This is a parental advisory explicit compact. That means there is 18 plus. And hopefully, I, when I eventually read this, I do like it so far. June manga collection has not made a good impression with me, considering the first book I ever read from them was Can't Win With You, and it was just a <laughs> bit. I am almost done. I got four more volumes, including this one. This is called Ninth Sleep. And it's also a Yaoi manga BL, and it is a one-shot. The next volume I got is My Only King. This is a Yaoi manga also, and I believe the pink-haired woman is either... I'm not sure if they still identify as a boy, or they're a trans woman, or they just like to dress up and drag. I'm not entirely sure. I'm doing this based off of the cover. I'll have to read it to find out. Next volume of manga is Same Cell Organism. This is, is also a yaoi manga by June Collection. I'm not sure what it's about. But I'll read it and find out. This is my last volume of manga for this haul. It is called The Conditions of Paradise. It is a girl's love manga book. And I'm excited to actually start reading it. Okay guys, this is an overview of all the manga that I showed in today's haul. Um, yeah, it's a little blurry, but you know, you guys can still see it. I really don't have much else to say. This is over 50 volumes of manga that I was able to haul this month. I'm very thankful. And please feel free to do all that standard YouTube stuff. Feel free to leave a like hit the subscribe button follow my socials down below in the description box and yeah that's it i would like yeah that's it i'll see you guys in the next one bye